Hello, today we're going to look at a new application that we've developed at RTV Tools. This one is to support the bulk upload and automation of publishing drawings and documents to Aconex. It works in tandem with our exporter uh, products from RTV Tools for Revit. Um, so I'm just going to export some drawings from, from Revit using our exporter. Uh, I'm going to export these as PDFs, so simply going to highlight all these drawing files, going to choose export and down here on our exporter we have the ability to configure the export um, metadata spreadsheet that's used to import um, files on bulk into Aconex and our exporter will publish this automatically um, at the during the process of exporting PDFs or drawing files or Navisworx files um, automatically. Uh, all you have to do is configure the parameters and then choose the the tick box here to export the CSV file and everything else is uh, as per our exporter application. Uh, my PDFs will go to this location here and be named using the typical Aconex um, naming formats. I'm just going to choose export and the PDFs will get created and once they're created I will then upload these to Aconex using our new app. Now that the PDFs have been created, I'm going to start our Aconex application, uh, the RTV Aconex Uploader. Our Aconex Uploader is a standalone application that can run outside of Revit. Um, we'll make a, a button available for it with inside Revit for Revit users, but uh, we've chosen to make this a standalone application to work outside of Aconex, so people who are not familiar with Revit or maybe in a document controller uh, position within a company can still benefit from bulk uploading and the benefits that our application for Aconex bring uh, without needing to use Revit or even have Revit installed on their machine. Uh, publishing to Aconex is as simple as connect, publish, transmit. Um, so one, two, three. So I'm just going to connect. Um, the, the application requires you to pick a a source folder for uploading of the documents so I'm just going to browse to the folder where my PDFs were. I'm going to log in. Uh, the tool will remember your login details and I'm going to choose my Aconex project that I want to publish and transmit the documents through. Their tool will analyze any of the drawings uh, or documents that have previously been uploaded onto Aconex uh, and compare those with the documents that are coming through from the, the files in the source folder and any of the information that's stored within inside the uh, metadata spreadsheet is already automatically pre-populated into our interface. Our interface uh, has several columns. These columns are parametric. You can drag and drop them around. You can use search filters on these as well. Uh, similar to all of our other tools. If you want to exclude a document from this transmittal or publishing to Aconex, uh, simply click on the, the cross here and that'll remove the document from the this active publish session. Uh, it doesn't remove it from the source folder. And you can use things like multi-select to select the current revision date. Um, you can choose uh, things like uh, technical document and um, descriptions. Uh, the yellow fields are the mandatory fields as defined by your Aconex project. You can also type in here if there's anything that you would like to fix um, before you upload any spelling mistakes. Um, that kind of stuff can be typed in uh, as you go. When you're, when you're ready to publish uh, it's um, simply click publish and it'll publish all of the active uh, drawings or documents that you see in this window and you can check on the upload state uh, here whether it's a going up as a new document or it's going to be a superseded document. Uh, so I'm just going to publish these documents up. These will start publishing up to Aconex. Uh, I can select multiple documents to publish to Aconex uh, just by highlighting multiple documents, click publish and they will upload to Aconex. And once the documents have been published uh, they will come through as in their upload state as being published 
Once they've been published, I can then transmit these documents. Um, in the transmit window, I can go to the AconX directory and I can search for an organization and I can click um, various people that I would like to transmit a document to. Clicking OK will add them in there. I can choose um, issued states, um, I can choose response by, uh, response date, um, I can put a subject line. And I can use the uh, message editor which will take you into a rich text format or I can just type in here and then click transmit. Once the click close, um, that's your session with Aconex um, uploaded, published, um, transmitted. Easy as one, two, three. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and we look forward to bringing you a new app once we've finished with beta testing. Thank you.